All right, everyone. So we're going to be running through our four temperature conversion practice problems. Uh, this is just meant, again, to help you through it and to make sure that everyone understands and knows what we're doing. Now, with these problems, the number one thing that I've been seeing more and more and more is just sig figs. So we're going to really focus on our sig figs and trying to see how exactly our adding and subtracting rules play a role in each of these problems. So, this is problem number one. Because Venus's proximity to the sun in this thick, high-pressure atmosphere, its temperature can rise to 860 degrees Fahrenheit. Express this temperature in degrees Celsius. So, what we want to do, first off, let's write our equation. Our equation is temperature in degrees Celsius equals 5 ninths multiplied by the parentheses of temperature in degrees Fahrenheit minus 32.0. This is going to be our equation that we need to use for this problem. So what I am going to do is I am going to multiply 5 ninths times and then just plug in my 860.0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32.0. And at the very end, let's see what we get. So 860 minus 32 is first. I get 828, so 5 ninths multiplied by 828 and at the very very end let's see I get 460 even so 460 now that's the right answer that's the right you know number right now but we need to check our sig figs remember if we start with four sig figs in our problem and our problem multiplies through it then we need to have four sig figs to keep the accuracy in our answer. Right now, 460 is standing as is. This is two sig figs because the four and the six. We need to add a decimal to make it three and then another zero to have four sig figs in the very end and write it 460 degrees Celsius. That is problem number one with the correct sig figs. Let's do problem number two. In 1916, Browning, Montana experienced a temperature decrease of 56 degrees Celsius during a 24-hour period. The final temperature was 49 degrees Celsius. Express in kelvins the temperature at the beginning and the end of the 24-hour period. So, what we want to do, let's do temperature kelvin. Ooh, not degrees, not degrees, remember, not degrees, my bad. Temperature kelvin equals temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273. That's going to be our equation. So what we need to do is we need to find what the high and what the low is in degrees Celsius in order to solve for it. So let's first say our temperature low, we know it already. Temperature low is this negative 49 degrees Celsius. But we don't know our temperature high yet. Our temperature high, you notice this is a 56 degrees Celsius drop from the original. Think of it this way. If we want to express it mathematically, our change in temperature, how much it changed, is going to be negative 56 degrees Celsius because it is dropping 56 degrees. Then our temperature final, whatever we ended with, is this negative 49 degrees Celsius, and we're trying to solve for our temperature initial. Our temperature initial is going to be our high of whatever it is. Now, if you remember that this triangle means delta, it means change. And change in temperature specifically is always our temperature final minus temperature initial. If we want to know our temperature initial, let's just plug it in. Negative 56 degrees Celsius equals our temperature final, negative 49 degrees Celsius minus temperature initial. Now, what I'm going to do to rearrange this, that's a lot of stinking um, negatives of negative 56, negative 49, and negative or subtracting temperature initial. You can multiply the entire thing by negative 1 and distribute. That would be fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get rid of this negative on the temperature initial by moving it to the other side. I'm going to add temperature initial to both sides, and I'm going to get temperature initial minus 56 degrees Celsius equals negative, 40, oh, negative 49, here, negative 49 degrees Celsius. I add 56 to both sides. And my temperature initial, 
I know then is 7 degrees Celsius. That's going to be the start. Or you could think of it this way. If it started out at 7 degrees Celsius and it dropped 56 degrees Celsius, then my final temperature is negative 49. That's always going to be what ends up happening. So that's going to be my temperature high is this negative 7 degree, or positive 7, sorry, degrees Celsius. So now let's change it into Kelvins of, if I want the beginning and the end, of I'm going to do my temperature of the high at the beginning. So TH equals 7 degrees Celsius plus 273. And T low equals negative 49 degrees Celsius plus 273. Here, 7 degrees Celsius plus 273 to 80 Kelvin. Again, I know that I'm adding here. Adding goes off of decimal places. My original has zero decimal places. My answer has zero decimal places. That is my answer as is. And then negative 49 plus 273. Oh, I could probably do that in my head, but I don't want to. So I'm going to plug it into my calculator, plus 273, and I get, let's see, 224 Kelvin. Perfect. 224 Kelvin are going to be my two answers for problem number two. 224 and 280. Fantastic. Let's move on to problem number three. Problem number three states, in 1980, Willie Jones of Atlanta, Georgia was hospitalized with heat stroke, having a body temperature of 116 degrees Fahrenheit. Fortunately, he survived. Express Willie's body temperature in Kelvins. So let's do it this way. If our start is temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, there is no conversion from temperature degrees Fahrenheit into Kelvin. You first have to go and you have to change this into temperature in degrees Celsius and then change it to temperature Kelvin. That's the only way for you to solve this problem. So what we are going to do, let's first change it into temperature degrees Celsius. And remember that temperature degrees Celsius, our equation is 5 ninths multiplied by the parentheses of temperature degrees Fahrenheit minus 32.0, and we're good. So let's plug in first our temperature for degrees Celsius. We have 5 ninths multiplied by 116 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. 116 minus 32 is 84. So 5 ninths multiplied by 84. Then we are going to get an answer of calculator. Calculator. Let's see, 5 divided by 9 times 84 equals 46.6 repeating. So 46.6666 onwards until infinity. Now, sig figs, again, we multiplied here. In our multiplication, we have to keep the same number of sig figs as our original, whichever one has the least accuracy. Our original has three sig figs here, 116 degrees Fahrenheit. If we want to change 46.6 into three sig figs, we count out one, two, three, draw our line. This six rounds up the other, and we have our temperature in degrees Celsius to equal 46.7 degrees Celsius. Okay, now let's do Kelvin. Uh, remember that Kelvin, our equation, is temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273. If we have our temperature in degrees Celsius is 46.7 degrees Celsius plus 273, oh, plus 273, then what we are going to get, let's get, oh, again, I don't want to do that in my head, <laughs> plus 273, we get 319.7 7 Kelvin. Now let's talk about sig figs. Is this right, or do we need to change something? Look here, we're adding, and adding you always keep decimal places. This 273, this is a given. You do not have to take anything with this 273. It is not a measurement. You stick with the original. Your original has one decimal place in the 0.7, meaning that your answer then for 319.7 still has this one decimal place. This right here is your final answer. And finally, let's do problem number four. 
So where's my oh fine. Problem number four says usually people die if their body temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius. There was one case, however, of a two-year-old girl who had been accidentally locked outside in the winter. She survived even though her body temperature dropped as low as 14 degrees C. Express this low temperature in kelvins and degrees Fahrenheit. So what we want to do, this is going to be our temperature in Celsius is just going to be 14 degrees C. This is our low. And we want to change this into temperature Kelvin. And we want to change this into temperature oh, Fahrenheit. Temperature degree. There. Fine. So what we want to do, let's first just change it into Kelvin. Temperature Kelvin is always temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273. So I'm going to take this 14 degrees Celsius plus 273, and I'm going to get 287 Kelvin. Again, adding zero decimal places, zero decimal places, perfect, done. 287 Kelvin. Then, to change it into temperature Fahrenheit, temperature Fahrenheit is the inverse of temperature Celsius. And you see our temperature Celsius is 5 ninths, temperature Fahrenheit minus 32. So it, temperature Fahrenheit, is going to be 9 fifths, no parentheses, times the temperature in degrees Celsius, plus 32.0. Now, to solve, we just plug it in. Let's do it. Equals 9 fifths times 14 degrees Celsius plus 32.0. So what we want to do, let's do 9 fifths times 14 first. So 9 fifths times 14 equals 25.2. So 25.2 plus 32.0. I'm going to have 57.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Then think to yourself, we multiplied here, meaning that our sig figs needs to be consistent with our original. We started out with 14, two sig figs, we better end with two sig figs. 57.2 into two sig figs is just going to turn it into 57 degrees Fahrenheit. So that right there is going to be your final two answers for problem number four. And that is the end of all of your temperature conversions. Thank you all. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great weekend.